Uh, he worked out this morning. He's with the trainer now, so it'll be a game time decision. If he does play tonight, how does that change your mindset and the team's mindset? Um, well, you know, you talk. Um, and also, you know, being able to protect the basket. So uh, he is something, uh, he's someone that's very valuable to us. And so we'll see. Hopefully he can go tonight. Jason, some of your players have come out and just publicly supported you and said that you've gotten better as a coach and you've really improved. Um, what has it meant to have the players' support and also the franchise's support? Uh, it means a lot, you know, when you talk about um, the respect and the things that we've gone through early in this, uh, in this season. Um, you know, I think we've all learned from one another um, and we're all getting better. But I think the biggest thing is our patience. You know, we've, we've all been patient because um, it's easy to talk about, you know, letting go of the rope during the, the injuries. Um, but you got a great group of guys in that locker room who want to win and uh, they've shown a lot of patience. So um, it's, it's great to be supported from the top, but also it's great to be supported by your players. Jason, are you, you planning on going with the same five tonight? Uh, we'll see. Um, again, if Brooke can go, he'll start. Um, but he's a game time decision. So um, if Brooke can't go, then we'll probably go the same way. And, and with, with Pierce, I know you've talked about liking what you've seen with him in the second unit. What specifically have you liked about that? Well, you know, I think uh, his leadership, um, you know, understanding that when things get a little hectic, he can control things. And so, uh, you know, having someone who's on the floor that you trust, um, that when things aren't going well, that he'll get guys in the spots. And uh, he's done a great job with that. And then also just, you know, his shot, getting a rhythm. You know, I thought playing in the fourth quarter against Philly, he's, you know, started to get a little bit um, more comfortable. Um, his shots are starting to fall for him. But again, it's just, you know, him getting his rhythm. When when a, you know when a hall of fine, hall future hall of fame guy who's never come off the bench before and you, you put him in a role like that, sometimes pride might take. But with him, that hasn't been an issue, I guess. Um, have you had a, had the conversation with him about well, that? Did you have to? Or? Uh, I think it's about you know character. I think you know when you talk about um, a future hall of famer, um, you know, being able to you know make the adjustment of coming off the bench, helping the team, understanding that. That makes the team stronger. Um, it just shows his his character as a person and as a player, and that's he's about winning. You talked about health and how important that's been. I mean, could you just discuss the impact that Darren has had playing the way he's playing? Uh, how much more efficient the offense is? The kind of shots that you're able to get when he's yeah. playing this kind of level. You know, the, uh, you know, <laughs> you talk about one of the top point guards in this league. Um, when he's on the floor and the way that he's playing right now, the pressure he puts on the defense, um, where it's not just him, you know, shooting or scoring the ball, but getting his teammates shots. And so um, it's good to see him playing at this level. Um, it's good to see him healthy. Um, but, you know, the big thing is that this team, you know, when you look at, you know, Joe, D. Will and, and Brooke, that's the way it's been built, you know, around those three. And uh, Joe has probably been uh, – the, the healthiest so far and they're probably the most consistent um, up to this point. But it's good to see D. Will playing at the level that he's playing. Um, <clears throat> real quick, you didn't shoot around today. A couple times you've done that at, at home lately. Is it something you're considering just game to game or doing away with it all? No, it's just uh, it's a feel. I asked the guys that they want to have shoot around this morning. Um, so we had shoot around this, this afternoon or this evening. So uh, we do have shoot around. It's just at a different time. And the other one, I know you don't pay attention, I'm sure, but as the Knicks struggle, there's a lot of fans and even media saying how much they miss you as a, you know, everything you kind of brought. Uh, is that flattering to you or do you expect to hear that kind of thing? I, I don't pay attention to that. You know, I can only focus on, on the Brooklyn Nets. And so, um, you know, those things that are being said, Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But right now I'm just focused on my team.